Kevin Falcon became liberal leader in 2022 and by next year could be the leader of the renamed BC United Party. Falcon sat down with Legislative Bureau Chief Binder Sudgeon to talk about transparency, results, and why he thinks his party can return to power in the next election. Government's unforced errors are benefiting opposition leader Kevin Falcon, like reporting kids' flu deaths days after CTV first did. You could actually say, listen, I want parents out there to know yeah. We've had six kids pass away as a result of influenza, and you know you could ta talk about whether they're vaccinated or not. But, but you know the point is, parents be aware. The province points to the coroner service as the source of the information, perhaps, but Falcon sees a pattern. Just there's sort of a deviousness about the way they do things, lack of transparency, releasing important information on Friday evenings, or sitting in reports like the COVID report for weeks. The Canadian Association of Journalists awarding the NDP government the Code of Silence Award for a lack of transparency. While some wounds are self-inflicted, since being elected MLA for Vancouver Quilchenna in April, Falcon has also refined his attack. Because I think at the end of the day, um, their intentions are, are good, but they don't have the skill sets to know how to get big things done. Some of the issues like cost of living are due to global factors, while crime and strained health care systems are issues across Canada. I'm being more than fair, for God's sakes, like in the health care system. You know, this government only only recently has started talking about training more doctors here in British Columbia. They've been, they're in their second term. They should have been making these decisions four and a half, five years ago. It takes seven years to train doctors. The like recent polls suggest the NDP government's honeymoon is over. People aren't happy with what they're seeing. And then we saw local elections that I think reinforce the fact that there is a real uh, change in the wind, if you will, in the public. And I think the public are now really focused on wanting to see results. Every British Columbian that wants access to a family doctor will have access to... Yet many of the same issues plagued the Liberal government. And while they balanced budgets and grew BC's economy, some say it was at the expense of housing affordability and deep social service cuts. While we were in government, we did not get everything right. There's no question about that, but we got the big things right. The Liberals will soon leave their name behind to become the BC United Party, shedding the criticism that brought the NDP to power may be more difficult. And yes, we had to make difficult decisions, especially early on, because we were inheriting 10 years of an NDP government that had mismanaged the economy, so we had to make tough choices. But at the end of the day, I think that's what leadership's about. It's about being able to do the right thing and try and focus on getting the right results. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria.